okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another mock draft for the Houston Texans. I'm going to go ahead and put us all the way back to the 67th pick. Why? It's because I don't think Deshaun Watson getting traded this offseason. Um, all these alleg allegations really put a damper on his trade value. I don't think any team takes a chance on him with, you know, with the thought of him, hey, he, he might be suspended um, next year, so I really don't think the Houston Texans move on to him. And now we have options, right? With the 67 pick, we have a tackle. I don't think we need one. Uh, I love Lermy Tun, so I do love Terrace Howard. Um, now, I'm sorry, Titus Howard. I do apologize for that. Now, Jamin Davis is someone who I think is very interesting. He was a linebacker who really showed this year, really blew up, had a very good year, a very good grade against the run, a very good grade against the pass. The speed show was 4-4-4 four, four, four linebacker is what you are looking for now in the NFL to put right there in the middle of the defense because these offensive skilled position players are getting much faster, right? The, you know, the line, I'm sorry, the wide receivers are getting quicker. The quarterbacks are getting faster. The running backs are becoming shiftier. A linebacker with speed is someone to go, but the Houston Texans do have a need in the secondary. It is Justin Reed and it is Lonnie Johnson. So do you want to go ahead and try to spend, you know, and try to take a chance on putting Jamar Johnson back then, uh, you know, back there and moving Lonnie back to safety. Lovey Smith did say that he wants um, Lonnie to go back. To, uh, I'm sorry to be to be a safety, but I'm gonna go ahead and take Jamin Davis. I do love the linebackers that we picked up this year, and I know it's kind of you know it's it's kind of tough to take a linebacker with you know our first pick. But if you're looking for players who can help win now and help solidify this team. You have to take a chance on someone like Jamin Davis. And here at 109, if Jamar Johnson is there, which I don't think he will, I think you have to take a chance, right? You have to go best player available at number uh, 47. Or do you go ahead and take a guard at um, with, at Kendrick Green from Illinois? Or do you even go and take a corner? We do know secondary is a huge need for the Houston Texans. And this is a tough one, right? I do think corner is the way to go. Um, uh, Teguan, he was someone who didn't play, you know, last year, only really played one year, had one good year, and did decide to opt out, so, you know, that might leave, you know, he doesn't have a lot of tape on him, but corner, I think, is the way to go for the Houston Texans, but this is still a tough one, man, this is still a tough one, I do love Lonnie Johnson, he did some very good things at safety, it's just, um, you know, it's just not his natural position. But everybody thinks he's supposed to be a safety. I'm going to go ahead and take the cornerback. You know, hopefully he doesn't come back and bite me in the butt. Um, you know, we don't know what we're going to do with Bradley Roby. We don't know what we're going to do with Gary on Conley. Gary on Conley doesn't fit the scheme for this defense. So he might be a player who's not on the roster for next season. And here with the 147 pick, we have a choice, right? Do we go tackle 82? I don't think so. Defensive line is, I believe, a need for the Houston Texans. You know, is it going to be Bobby Brown from A&M? Someone who's absolutely huge, you know, um, a very good run defender. That's what we need, you know, with the loss of DJ Reader. You know, we really saw teams were just running all over us. And you see right here, Brown has the tools to be a playmaker, nose tackle. But is it consistent and, and undisciplined sailors won't garner too many fans. You know, he's obviously going to have to be coached. He's obviously, you know, this isn't, this is going to be a project. But hey, DJ Reader himself was a fifth round pick. Can you find that in Bobby Brown? 6'4, 325. <sighs> I just don't know what's going to happen with Ross Blacklock. I really don't. Ross Blacklock really did disappoint last year. But the defensive line needs some more, needs some meat up there. And I'm going to go ahead and take Mr. Bobby Brown from A&M. Now, with the 158 pick, we have, you know, the top ones on the board is a tackle from Notre Dame. Um, you know, Dax Mine, a wide receiver from BIU. Haven't really looked at him um, much Let's go ahead and see what he's got working with. Sith one, NFL caliber route runner, but he's physically a tier below the guys at the top at the top class. Um, you know, he's a good route runner, and that's what you want for a wide receiver. I do know a lot of people really like um, Simi Fi, uh, Fihoko, a guy who is just absolutely huge. A guy is just 6'4", can go up and get it. You know, the only thing is he's not developed yet, right? Do you want to go with someone who's proven like a like a Dax Malin and 
you know, have a consistent route runner, or do you want to go with a big body guy and try to, you know, try to turn him into a wide receiver? You can't go wrong with Sis for you can't teach height. I want to go ahead and take a chance on Simi. It might be the wrong move, but I, I would love a 6'4 wide receiver out there, you know, who can make plays all over the field. You know, he was someone who they used, you know, in the deep routes. Okay, now with the 195th pick, I think this is a no-brainer. I do like that we did bring in Justin Britt. I think we got to go center here, you know, to give him competition, you know, because you, you don't really want to hand him, you know, the starting job. But you want to uh, help develop the next rookie. Diamond is a natural outside zone fit center, but his pass protection issue might not be fixable. You know, you are in the sixth round pick. You know who, who was another late round pick for the Houston Texans? Mr. Chris Myers. You know, if Justin Brick could be here for the next couple of years and teach the center to be something really good, then I think that's something that you have to look at for the Houston Texans. And with the 203rd pick, what is out there? We do have a running back. We do have a linebacker. I think we're going to have to go on the edge side here, right? I think we have to go for the defensive side of the ball. I don't really want to get a running back. We do have Philip Lindsay. We do have David Johnson. We have Mark Ingram. You could find undrafted running backs who could do something but I really do think that we have to beef up the defensive line and just really focus on the secondary and the 212 pick we have I mean in the sixth round we could definitely go running back for the you know special teams let's go ahead and take one you know you don't really expect the sixth or seventh round pick to be key for you you know for you and, you know, Patrick Jones, you cannot have too many edge guys. I want to go ahead and take an edge and finish this draft, guys. But I really do think this is a draft that fits a lot of needs. You know, it's going to be really tough with no first or second round pick. But we're going to try to go ahead and see what we can do. And if you graded my draft, I did get a B plus. Let me know about my draft, guys. Did I do good? Did I do bad? Let me know. I really disagree with this Jamin Davis. But let me know, guys. As always, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.